Hello, my name is Helieta Torkosh. I'm a university assistant at Aurel Vecchio University from Arad and together with my colleague, university lecturer Anka Manuela Egero, which is the second author of this article, we would like to present our paper for the conference from this year, which is entitled Outdoor Education and its Influence on the Successful Involvement of Pupils in the Social Life. One of the main priorities of current educational systems is to create a strong connection between education provided by schools and the requirement of a successful integration in the social life and, of course, in the work field. This article offers the teacher's perspective on the various ways in which outdoor learning can be useful in creating teaching learning situations that prepare pupils to be active citizens and to have smoother integration in the social life and this way, of course, on the labor market. In time of constant social change, education has to always find new ways in order to prepare individuals that are ready to be introduced into the labor market and to be successful and active members of the community. The higher the levels of education, the wider is the range of positive outcomes, such as better health systems, higher social trust, greater political interest, and of course, better intercultural outcomes. Also, in terms of active citizenship and a smooth introduction on the labor market, education regarding society aims individuals to prepare for employment through development of skills of literacy, numeracy, and lately, also the development of some transversal competencies. The present article has two main parts. The first one is the theoretical frame, and the second one is a brief research within uh, some teachers, a number of 88 teachers from Arad County. The first part goes in two directions. The first direction is the direction of outdoor education and of course the multiple benefits that it can bring into modern educational systems. And the second direction of the theoretical frame is education for society. We have also made a um, list of conclusions that show the connection between outdoor education and education for society. Outdoor education is represented by those activities that are designed intentionally having as common philosophy and the formation and growth of the individual by placing him in challenging situations but using natural spaces instead of classrooms. Education for society is a compulsory subject in the curricular area of social humanistic education and it aims to develop in students the skills for a democratic culture. The curriculum that um, is regarding education for society focuses on the student with the particularities and its needs, its own pace of learning and development, and also on the assumption of values like democracy, human rights, the rule of law, and of course, cultural diversity, and sometimes even intercultural elements. Recent research highlights the multiple benefits of outdoor education and its, um, its components. Through these activities, there is the opportunity to develop skills such as responsibility and independence, to enhance inter- and intrapersonal skills, active involvement in the group, in the society and in the community, of course, problem-solving skills and the development of decision-making skills. Also, one of the main attitudes that can be developed through education is the global civic spirit, which can be explained by openness and awareness, tolerance and respect for diversity, responsibility and ability to resolve conflict, ethical and intercultural understanding, democratic participation, respect for the environment, national identity and sense of belonging, ability to critically evaluate information and media content, and the ability to obtain and analyze information through computerized and technological tools. The complexity of today's society requires that educational systems 
through the instructive educational activities they organize to develop individuals prepared for social life, but also to develop complexly for a satisfying personal life. So outdoor education uh, as part of formal educational systems is concerned into the personal development of the individual and also into the, in the development of the group and the individual as member of a group. This can only become possible if the learner goes through situations that can shape him physically, socially and mentally. The educational system that is uh, regarding outdoor education or outdoor learning is based on challenges, different tasks, development and innovative curiosity, invincible will, tenacity and also compassion. Outdoor education encourages also children to develop in all three stages, physically, emotionally and mentally, helping to understand and protect the local environment and leading through all these steps to social development. The um, research part of this article um, was based on the method of survey. The main instrument used was the questionnaire. The instrument was applied with the purpose of collecting data regarding, regarding the opinions and the knowledge and also the personal experiences of the teachers from Arad County regarding the concepts of outdoor learning and social education. The participants were in number of 88 teachers, uh, primary school teachers, preschool teachers and also teachers from the field of special education. One of the main objectives of the study was to find out at what extent outdoor education can develop social competencies in preschools and primary schools from Arad County. The secondary objective of the study was to find out the openness of teachers in order to use outdoor learning activities in their daily routines and so to be able to develop certain competencies of pupils in their class, especially we were uh, curious to find out in which way and in which extent outdoor education can develop competencies that are necessary for a smoother and easier and better introduction and adaptation of pupils into the social life. The questionnaire was uh, composed uh, by 15 questions. Five of them were personal questions like age, um, the area in which they teachers uh, teach and uh, work, and the other 10 were regarding trust, uh, regarding outdoor education and development of social competencies, uh, personal experience and knowledge of participants regarding both outdoor education and social education or education for society. The present article, through its theoretical frame and its practical base, brings an insight on the situation of pedagogical elements that outdoor learning brings in the educational field from Arad County regarding social involvement and democratic citizenship in terms of su successful integration on the labor market of pupils. The overall results show the importance of introducing outdoor learning activities in formal education in order to develop social skills at the level of group cohesion, self-esteem level, self-discipline, taking care of others and taking others into account, creating a better social climate this way. One of the most genuine preoccupations of the human community and of the educational systems throughout the world is to create adaptable members of the society through education, of course, and this can be possible through the correct use of those learning tools that develop certain but also holistic competencies. And as this research shows, uh, outdoor learning can be one of these extraordinary educational tools that combine all the competencies necessary for a healthy and smooth uh, adaptation of the pupil into the social life, into the community and on the labor market. Thank you for watching.